Contest, the Hickok 45 parody contest winning vidder, video, the, the video for the announcement of the winner. Yeah, okay, I'll get it right in a minute. Uh, the, uh, well, first of all, I'm a little perplexed by some of those parodies because uh, I don't know, I, I don't do any of the things that those people were doing in those videos. Even though they kind of dress like me, I don't do any of that silly stuff. I just shoot, try to hit targets. But anyway, uh, all seriousness aside, yes, we're uh, announcing the winner in this video, and I hope you got around and saw all the videos, all the parodies that were submitted. There were 25 of them, I think, so uh, if you haven't, I hope you get down into there, and uh, they're still attached as video responses to the, the original Hickok 45 contest video. That was the name of that video, and we'll just leave them there, so hopefully you'll, you'll check those out. I uh, want to thank everybody. Uh, Great job. Uh, a lot of those were really good. And they kept getting better, you know. So I know if you uh, put your heart and soul into that, uh, uh, that some of the others that came along maybe later, you know, oh my gosh, I thought I did pretty good. And, and, and you did, you know, there was some, in every video, there was a moment or two there that was just really, uh, you know, precious. There was a little bit of genius in everybody's. And uh, just in a few of them, there was a little more genius, I guess you'd say. If you can consider some of those characters geniuses, right? Uh, you know, some of the, the cool stuff uh, comes to mind with the, the fake Steve Lee showing up in one of them, although that was pretty funny. He looked a little bit like Steve Lee, didn't he? I don't know if he'd agree. Uh, you know, the North American Derringer, 44 Magnum, uh, some of the gong ringing, you know, sound like somebody was like standing right by the camera with a hammer and a, and a bell maybe, uh, copying my dress or my outfits, my shirts and my earplugs and my hat. And, everything and trying to copy my mannerisms of course we know I don't do some of those silly things like exaggerate and get crazy when I when I get a hit uh, copying John's camera work even some of that was kind of interesting uh, but anyway by and large you know just a lot of stuff in there that that uh, we all enjoyed I think it did come down to maybe three uh, that were finalists I guess you'd say that we uh, had to really think about and we had to look at several times and you know, it was really hard to make a decision there for a while, and uh, uh, we came to a conclusion, of course, but I'd say the top three were Aronte, I'm not sure how he pronounces his username, some usernames are not pronounceable, you know, they're just a mixture of things that we use sometimes, but uh, Aronte, and uh, I'll put it on the, on the screen as an annotation uh, of all these, Clear Twisted Cross and the KGB 65, you know, those three were the finalists, I guess you'd say. Uh, the top three we thought we're not going to rank them necessarily but uh, those were the top three we really appreciate the foolishness that uh, they threw in and everybody else too and the, the willingness to be foolish and and uh, not to say that about everybody you know that you're willing to just go out and get a camera and and be a little silly uh, you know that's that's a step out there that everybody's not willing to take you know but me big old dumb me you know I do it all the time don't really care but uh, a lot of people are a little shy about doing that so anyway, the top three we thought were Aronte, uh, one of those being, you know, it was just really cool with all the guns those guys uh, got into the video, you know, shooting up the old car, the intro, copying Rapid Fire 2, basically, and doing a pretty good job of that. That was, that was pretty impressive. Uh, and then the way they finished it with all the life is good, you know, so there was a lot of creativity, you know, in that one. The Clear Twisted Cross uh, group did a great job of uh, mimicking me and, of course, my uh, little weird mannerisms, and uh, I thought it was pretty good. Uh, the, uh, the song was, was great. Uh, we got some talent there, it looks like, uh, some actual musicians. And uh, I thought it was Steve Lee at first, I really did. I had to listen to it. And it did they just take the song? Is that Rachel? I didn't hear Rachel's voice. I really had to listen for a minute. Uh, I hadn't heard the album for a little bit, but uh, they did a great job. Uh, even had a great zombie kill that looked familiar, you know, at the end of that one. Uh, and then what can you say about the KGB 65? Uh, his mind is about uh, as off balance as mine, I think, at times. Uh, he did a great job of uh, mimicking me, I thought, in some cases. A little bit exaggerated, perhaps. But uh, 
just just a magnificent job the sway shirt you know and everything when he came on to the Glock 27 uh, long range video that was hilarious and of course the, the hatchet and chopping and then uh, you know talking about the guns that he doesn't have you know, anyway so he did a great job of capturing all three of those were just just wonderful so I mean you know, what else I can say about them uh, except that one of them you know had to win and we had to choose one and uh, John and I had to discuss this long and hard and with some disagreement at times you know uh, this, all three of those were, were really really well done uh, but uh, the winner is Pickock 45 here, I'm on the compound doing a little shooting, um, looking at the new Smith & Wesson 40C, I guess it's not that new, it's new to me, um, you've seen my videos on the Glock 27, uh, really similar to the 27 size and weight, um, they call these little guns snappy, uh, if they're snappy then I like snappy, so this is uh, going to be the stunt double for the 27 today, um, very similar like I said, it's just a pretty gun. Uh, pretty I normally define as fit and finish and that's about it. So uh, just going to do a little plinking and uh, see if we can hit something today. All right. Put my ears in. Not the best shooting I've ever done, but it's the job done. Uh, like I said, the MMP 40C. Uh, it's polymer frame gun. A lot of these guns are the same. The Springfields, the, the Glocks. This is just a more uh, pretty version. So uh, maybe load another magazine or two and have a go at it. Just got some knives and things out on the table here. Just enjoying a nice summer day out on the compound. My son John there on the camera, just out planking, nothing special. This gun is actually on loan uh, from a subscriber, Clear Twisted Cross I believe. I don't really know what that means, maybe a band name or something like this, you know. You never know with these kids these days, so. Uh, I like the gun alright, wouldn't mind having one, but I've got 3,014 uh, guns, so. 3015 might might just have to be this one. Put it up in there. I have my speed loader and arthritis is starting to flare up a little bit. There we go. Give another round there. What do you say? Sounds like with his favorite banders and guitars up there on the porch. Uh, noise, all the game go up there and mosey on up and check them out, see what we got going on there. We'll check back here in just a few. Life is good. Bullets fly and the targets fall, but the goats and the pigs don't mind it all around here. Zombies are the only thing that's real. Life is good. He shoots more ammo than he probably should. It's compounds here in Nashville neighborhood, in the land of the free. Life is good. He 
He's always shooting down in the woods Wouldn't leave it even if he could Life is good John, did you get it? I just hit a 230 gong with an LCP 380 pocket pistol from 230 yards and you didn't have the dead gum camera on Now dead gum it, John? is good When you're down in Tennessee where Freedom is alive Hear shots ring from the woods It's Hickok 45 Life is good He shoots more ammo than he probably should There's compounds here in Nashville neighborhood In the land of the free Life is good He's always shooting down in the woods wouldn't leave it even if he could Life is good Wouldn't leave it even if he could Life is good Life is good Oh! Video's over already. Enjoyed that, I bet. That's a great video, huh? Uh, you can see why uh, they were pretty easy to choose as the winner. They weren't necessarily head and shoulders above everybody else, but uh, I think they were up there overall. Uh, just a magnificent uh, video, really. Uh, clear, twisted cross. Uh, congratulations. You guys did a, did a great job on that, on that video, uh, as did many other people. Uh, by the way, it, you know, it is musically oriented. Uh, I did a, a Steve Lee and I uh, stay in contact through email, and I let him know that uh, that one was submitted. You know, since uh, you guys were doing uh, his song, and Lee might enjoy that, and he wrote back uh, he did enjoy it, and offered to uh, sign a, one of his CDs and uh, you know send it to you. So he's going to do that. Uh, so I'm sure we appreciate it. He's going to send it to me, uh, signed, and then uh, uh, forward it on on to you guys uh, at the Clear Twisted Cross uh, Group. Okay. Uh, so anyway, that'll be coming along, along with some other things here. The hat, the old sweaty hat I wore for a month in every video. Okay, so I know that's a prized possession, right? You can hang that in the barn to keep mice away, maybe. And uh, then I think we mentioned the pick. This is the pick that Steve uh, uh, Lee used uh, in the first Steve Lee video we did with him, where he came came into the, the scene playing, playing uh, his famous song, I Like Guns. Uh, he just left it on one of John's picks. I think he left it on the table out here. So I don't know if you guys are in the music business. That might be kind of cool to you. Uh, Steve Lee's a cool guy. Uh, so we got that. And, and one thing I wanted to mention too, uh, before we let you go, uh, this kind of ends the parody contest, or it does end the parody contest. However, if if you just didn't get around to it and you get to looking at these, you never did look at any of them, and, and uh, kind of were busy. You go, oh man, I'd like to try that, or I wish I'd have done that. If you want to, uh, you get the urge to do that at some point, uh, go ahead and do it and uh, submit it to this video that you're watching right now. We won't accept any other on the other video, so just uh, submit it uh, uh, to be you know, attached, approved on, on this video and be fine. You know, people might get a kick out, you might do a pretty good one, just uh, and you didn't even enter the contest, so feel free to do that. We're not, gonna, we're not starting another contest but uh, not announcing anything like that. But if you just get the urge to do it, feel free to attach it and I'll accept it, uh, approve it for, for this video if you want to do that because they're kind of fun to watch. So that, and one other thing, lastly, uh, we're also going to send uh, Clear Twisted uh, across this handsome guy here with the bullet holes in his face. And I might even put another one or two in there before I sign it.
Go. So, you get a pretty picture to hang on your wall there. Another one for the barn with the old sweaty hat. So, we appreciate everybody uh, participating in the contest. And, uh, you know, it's just been fun. And uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Life is really good.